guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I'm here to share with you kind of an unboxing. And these are molds from Zuri Designs, and this is um, a new collection of theirs. This is part of the Dark Side collection, and I haven't done an unboxing with them yet, and I figured I probably should because these ones are the ones I've been waiting for. So let's dive in. And show you what I got. Alrighty, so first up, get rid of this, so these are some playing cards, and let me pull up on my phone what they look like, because I know it's going to be hard to see in the packaging. Alright, so let's see how well you can see them, so this is the Aces of Darkness, so there's that one. With the two little bird skulls on the side. There's that one. That one. And there. So that's the Ace of Hearts. Ace of Clubs. Ace of Diamonds. And Ace of Spades. So let's show you this. So you can see how big these are. These are huge. So if you're wondering the size, they will end up coming out about three by four and a quarter. So these are super big. These are really neat. All right, and then I have Faces of Darkness. So this would be the other cards. Do you imagine playing like a real game of cards with something like this? So I wonder if they're going to come out with like numbers and stuff, considering they have the aces and then they have the king, queen, jack, and joker here. And then over here you can do the little individual spade, diamond, clubs, and hearts right there. So let me show you that one. So faces of darkness. So there's the king. There's the little pieces that you can make. So there's the king. And the queen. And the jack. And then the joker. He looks like he's going to be a lot of fun to make. It's not picking it up good, but He's really going to be fun. So anyway, that's what these guys are right here. And then the Ouija board. And this one is huge. Look at how big this guy is. This one is going to be 11 by 7 and 3 quarters when this one is made. Look at all the detail in there. Nice. So let's see that guy. Oops. So you can see all the detail with that one right there. Really neat. And what is a Ouija board if you don't have your planchette to play? Now this has such amazing detail to it. So let me show you this one. Because this one I was excited to get. So look at that one. Look at all that detail in there. That is awesome. I love all that. So you can see right there. And then this one measures about two and three quarters by 
two and three quarters. So from the tip to the bottom here is two and three quarters, and then side to side is two and three quarters. So this little guy is going to be really fun. So I'll get some of these made up and show you. And this one here is kind of neat. I have some ideas with this. I'm just not sure. I'm thinking it might be too small, but we shall see. But I can't wait to play with this one. Alrighty. So just to show you, I've already played with the Zuri molds. I don't think I've ever put too much of a video up before on them. And let's hope I don't spill my drink. But this is with the butterfly mold. And I went ahead and made it and just afraid my drink's going to spill. I went ahead and made this with the butterfly on it. You can see the dimension to it right here. So I put that on a tumbler. So it's really pretty. I do have a tutorial I'm going to kind of do on how I made this. Um, I just, I don't really want to do the same colors again. I just haven't figured out what colors I want to do them. But I do have a sample work I worked on. I have it molding to the cup right now. So once I get decide the colors, I will show you that one. So let me show you what else I've made with the molds. So aside from dark and creepy things, I also have a fashion, fascination with steampunk. So this is the machine mold, which is absolutely humongous. So for that one, I actually made a steampunk hat right here. So this happens to be a pattern from um, Janice Freeman, the hat. So I've got there, and if I flip it around, this one over here, really neat. I like that one. I also have this cute little mermaid mold. And that one, whoops, just lost my picture, is on a clock which is too big to bring under the camera. But it's this here. It's actually a working clock. And there she is hanging out. Let me show you. I'll just show you the clockwork and hold on. All right, so this is the clockwork in here. You can see it's a pendulum. Just like that. I haven't really shown these before just because they're too big to really put on video. And these are my personal projects. A lot of the projects I put on YouTube are, um, you know, videos that I have tutorials and stuff for. And then I have another one that I used the butterfly mold and the castle and that one's a wall hanging okay the gate I'm sorry not the castle so that one here I made this project here so this one is all three-dimensional so you can see that everything is popped off of the um, piece and then I made some paper flowers to go around it so anyway I have that one and then some of the other dark side collection. I have this one here. I'll show you a better picture of that one along with this one. So let me find those two. So this one right here is Lover of Darkness, and that's what this mold is here. So these were part of the first releases when they put these ones out. And then this big one here is um, Graveyard. So, and then Graveyard is, oops, these pieces right here. I love those birds. Those, I'm thinking of making a 3D project with them, like, on the gates or something. So I don't know if I would use the gate one or make them part actually the gate so we'll see how that goes but I do have some that I started coloring because I wanted to get a better look at how they are because it's hard to see until you pour them and color them so look at these guys these guys are absolutely awesome oh, it looks like they warped in the bag It's been hot here, so I'm not surprised they didn't do that. And then this guy, he's super cool.
And this one. This is the steampunk one, the machines. When I was making my hat, I didn't know what I was going to use. So then this one. And these are all, love this guy. These are all just made, um, they're made with the clear resin here first. And then I paint them black. And then I just color them with the waxes. So here's that one unpainted. So you can see until you add some paint and stuff to it, it's hard to see what they're going to look like. And then this big one. And then, of course, the gate. So, I mean, I could do something with them on the gate. Something like that. I don't know what I'm going to do, but those are neat. And then all the other pieces here. This one and this one. I have some I have kind of used. Then I made, so I was working on a project, and I had made these two, so I threw them in a coaster just to play around with it. I know the glitter doesn't go with it, but I just kind of wanted to mess around putting them in something so I can go ahead later and make something. But what's really neat is I got an air bubble in it when I did it, but it's perfectly on the eye, and I thought that was kind of neat. And then over here, there's one on the eye, and then a little one. So it's funny how the air bubbles were like perfect on there. You couldn't have done that if you tried. So anyway, that's some of the stuff. I will see about getting the new ones done up and sharing those with you. Hey guys, look what I have. I didn't clean this one up first. So these got poured. So let me just show them to you. So here's the Ouija board. Super cool. I cannot wait to show you the idea that I have with this. I need to redo another one because what I need, I need to alter it a little bit um, before it's solid. So these got bored um, a lot quicker than I expected. I went down to my boyfriend's who is actually, ironically enough, a sculptor. I've never really mentioned that on my videos and stuff. Um, but he's a sculptor and he makes a lot of resin molds. Um, he does a lot of casting of them, sells a lot. He's into more of the creepier kind of thing. Um, if you want to check out his work, it's Wicked Wall Masks. He is on Instagram. But anyway, I didn't want to ask him to pour these because he is having a hard time finding the particular resin that he uses. He uses a urethane resin. I use an epoxy resin. So I didn't really want to ask him, but I wanted to bring these down to show him. And he was like, hey, let's go ahead and pour these. So we did a quick pouring of them. The resin that I use takes about 24 hours to completely cure. His takes about... 10 minutes to cure so we went ahead and poured all these so this is the ace of clubs right there and then so these are all the ace ones i'll show you those so this is the ace of hearts which is so pretty and then ace of spades i like this one i like the bird skulls on here really pretty and you can see all the detail on it and then the other one here Ace of Diamonds, which I think this is probably one of my favorites because I love like the death moths and stuff on there. So I can't wait to kind of play around and paint those guys up. And then the cards, here's the king. And he was using different dyes in it, so you'll see like some discoloration. And then this one here is like different than these colors. When he, when he was pouring, he added the color first. And then I said, well, I'm painting them black anyway. So he um, didn't bother adding any more of the colorant to it. And this is the queen. She, she ended up with some air bubbles. So, But you can see all that detail on them. And then the joker, which I love. He's so cool. And then the jack. And then the cards, they come with all the little pieces here, so you can go ahead and add them. So if you're doing it, you could just put them on just like that. And then the planchette. So my original idea with this when I saw it is I wanted to make these cabinet poles. On my cabinets, I wanted to do a bunch of these and add them to my cabinets. They might be a little too small. i got to play around with them a little bit, but um, super pretty. You can see all that detail. Again, this one ended up with a few little air bubbles in it. 
And then, of course, the big Ouija board, which has a lot of detail to it. Anyway, I just wanted to come on real quick and show you what they look like now that I have them poured. And I will leave a link down below to the website for Zuri to go ahead and get these if you're interested. Like I said, I have quite a few of the dark, I think I have all the dark side collection now. Um, I don't know if they'll be coming out with more. I hope so. But anyway, pretty cool. All right. So anyway, thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And I'm going to try to do a tutorial on what I want to do with this. That way, if you want to make one too, you can. Alrighty. Till next time, guys. Happy crafting. Bye.